my intuition never lies there's nothing you can never hide already got the screenshot so there is no need to deny you've been creeping and freaking and sneaking like you never lose me hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's louisa pie over here as you can see from the title today is my first first story time time story time and i'll be talking about the first time I got cheated by doesn't matter by who but this is the first time and the only time I got cheated guys so before you continue watching please don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below if you'd like to see more story times thank you guys so much for the support I didn't think that like people receive me with that much love but thank you so much and if you like to know how everything went when i got cheated keep on watching so for the purpose of this video don't forget the following names steve steve is my boyfriend or the person that she doesn't on me ashley ashley is one of the girls he cheated on me with um what's the other name i'll give um, Brittany. i'm gonna call this one Brittany. and the other one will be mary cool so don't forget steve ashley Brittany, and mary cool so I was dating this guy for like one year yeah we were dating for a year we were in the same school i was studying a boarding school that was like my two last years of high school we were dating since the end of our first year then we became second years and then you know we're that couple that everyone was looking after school everyone you know everything was good perfect he is still not like such a nice guy like i believe that he's a nice person like i know he's a nice person we're still friends cool so we become second years and in my, the way my school worked was like if you become second it's only two years so when you become second year receive new people they're gonna be your first years cool so steve steve had this squad of his like his friends right they're like around seven guys so those were like the popular boys in school blah 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 all first years were like oh i need to get someone from that squad on our first year they used to go off campus because obviously boarding school like you know to party you need to sign out and all of this stuff on our first year they used to go out stay the weekend out and come back steve as a good boyfriend we're gonna sit down he's gonna tell me everything that happened blah 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 blah, blah. he was just perfect he was my african prince cool so second year comes i think it was around okay we graduated in june around may i would say cool one of his friends from the squad turns i don't know how many years old the birthday was off campus because the guy was south african blah 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 so they went off campus they went off campus for the party right me i was a friend with this specific guy on the squad i was friend with some of them like you know but not all of them cool Steve squad had a matching squad, a matching female squad in the school. Some of my friends were part of that matching squad. I hope you guys didn't forget the names. So, Brittany, Brittany and Mary were my friends. And they were part of this female matching squad. Cool. So, and the other one was Ashley, right? Ashley was a first year. It was one of our, our first years. It was from the same country as Steve. 
Chico. Don't for, oh, I did tell. They were all from the same country. So Steve, Mary, Ashley, and Brittany. Don't forget, Brittany was one of my closest friends. Brittany was like my sister, you know? Any issue I would have with Steve, I'll be like, my girl, that's what's going on, your brother. Mm -mm. And she'll give me advice. This was during our first year, right? She'll give me advice. I think you are the perfect girl for my brother. You guys are gonna work. Wada, 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 wada. So me, I'm like, you know, my girls will be at the party. Nothing's gonna happen. I trust my man. They go to the party. When they go to those type of parties, they don't use their phones, they don't post anything and stuff. So me, I was doing the week, like throughout the whole weekend without talking to Steve. Cool, but me, I was used to it. And I'm like, you know, trust my man. Cool. So they go to the party on Friday. They come back on Saturday night. Cool. They come back on Saturday night and everyone that went to this party sits on like the quad, you know, the chilling place in school. They sit there at night and they have, you know, a conversation. So me and my best friend, we see them from, you know, our rooms are like, okay, cool. Steve then comes. We're talking and he's telling me how the party was amazing, how, listen, this guy, he tells me every wrong thing that other people did at this party. Remember, we're dating for a year. We're like best friends. He tells me all the things that other people did in the party, but guess who he forgot about? Himself. So me, I'm like, you know, enjoying all the tea. I'm like, okay, just spill it, my guy. He's gonna spill the tea. When you have someone that's gonna tell you about an event that everyone in school wants to know. Me, I run to my best friend, to my friends. I'm like, you know what happened? Steve told me that, 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 that. Remember that around 12 or 13 people from my school went to their party. And we're only around like a hundred and something in the school. So boarding school, you know how it works, guys. Like if someone knows everything, everyone else will know. So apparently, everyone else knew what happened at that party, but I only knew the things that Steve told me because when they were sitting and talking the choir, they made this promise of like, no one is gonna talk, no one is gonna tell. People that were in the party about the party and all stuff. It passed a month. A month, guys. A month later, Steve and I have like these small arguments. We're sitting and like we, you know, when you feel like something was going on, like you feel that like, you know, something's wrong. So we had this small argument. And then I ran to my best friend's room. I had like a panic attack. It was this year, guys, I was in love. <laughs> I had a panic attack and you know, I was just so scared and all of this. I was just like, oh, I was telling my best friend. So we had this small argument about this and that and that. So my best friend is like trying to tell me to calm down and everything. So she goes to my room to get like, I forgot what she went to get. She goes to my room to get something. I was in my best friend's room at that moment. And she found this letter on my desk. And like in high school, like boarding school, people usually like leave letters, like sweet letters to people, telling them like, oh, thank you, blah, 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 blah. And because I was sad, my best friend told that that letter was one of the nice ones. Cool. She now comes, runs into the room. Oh, Louise, I found this in your room but maybe something that's gonna make you feel good i now open the letter and i read louisa you don't deserve that steve doesn't deserve you he cheated on you with two of your closest friends and one of your first years
Remember, I'm reading the letter out loud. My best friend starts crying. She was like, no, he can't. I, no, he didn't do this to you because he loves you. Me, guys, I was literally like, I knew something was wrong. So I didn't expect him cheating with like three different people. Like, sure, like, why would you do that? Like, we're so happy. Like, what was missing this relationship, you know? I was shocked. I literally didn't cry. I didn't scream. I was just like, so the letter says two of your closest friends and two of my close friends are literally Brittany and Mary. Remember that Ashley is my sister. The one that always told me, oh, you guys are the perfect couple. Then text Mary and Ashley. I'm like, come to my room, guys. I want to talk. It was Mary and Ashley. We're like, this group of friends, Mary, Ashley, two of my other girlfriends and my best friend. So now the five of us go to the room, to my room. And I was like, oh guys, I want to talk to you. And I opened my heart. I was like, guys, one fact about me. I don't, I like, I don't catch feelings. Like if something's wrong in my relationship is about my partner, it's not about the other people. Cool. So me, I'm like, these are my friends. I'm going to believe whatever they say. The girls are waiting for me in my room. I call Steve because we're in a boarding school and we had like checking time. So we couldn't, you know, go out. That was like at night. I call Steve and I'm like, I found this paper saying that, 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 that. Is it true? The guy now starts crying like a baby. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't care. Is it true or no? I'm sorry, I didn't tell you before. I was afraid of hurting you. I love you so much. I was drunk. I'm like, I don't care. Right now, like, you know. Is it true? And the guy's like, oh, it's true, Donna. So I hang up the phone. I then now go and talk to the girls. They're all sitting down in my bed, making fun. Like, Mary. Is it actually i got confused like the two friends i'm like so i got this letter and steve already told me that it's true i will believe whatever you guys say i won't start being friends with you just tell me if it is true or no me i was there with an open heart i was literally like i won't start being friends with them whatever they say the two girls now tell me no nothing happened you know you are our friend how do you expect me to do that and blah 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 remember the steve already told me that it's true that was like you know the peak for me to understand that they were my friends because like i already told you like the guy told me it's true why would you lie whatever you know i now go and talk to the third girl which is my first year and then she opens her heart. She was like, oh, I always, you are one of the people that I look up to in the school. You're so cool. I didn't want to happen, but I always had feelings for Steve, and blah, blah, blah. Me, I already knew that she always, you know. The funny thing is when Steve came back from the party, he was telling me all those stories and I asked him, did you do anything you want me to know? Remember guys, there was like a month before I got the letter. And the guy said, no. He's like, no, nothing happened. I then sit to talk to Steve in the next day. I'm like, I love you. I know that you like me too. Like you love me. Like I had no doubt that the guy loved me because literally guys, I believe that like sometimes when people shit, it's not like the feeling they have for you is less. It's just that we are all human beings and we make mistakes. I don't. It's not like I don't blame him, but it's like, you know, I understand. I was hurt. I was really hurt. Like I cried after I cried the second day when I went to talk to him. I decided, you know, like, let's break up. Remember that was one month. The whole situation happened one month prior to graduation. He was 
one of the people in that school they'll make me feel so good like i grew so much with with him in the relationship give each other time for like two weeks right two weeks for graduation i felt the most stupid person in that school and you know guys i'm stupid these are facts like but that time i was i was walking the school for a month everyone knew and no one told me anything so two weeks passed i was like you know and guys judge me if you want like you can judge me i went back to the guy i was like you know we are going home you remember he wasn't from my country cool i'm going home i won't need to see him again let's just you know have this relationship till graduation we then got back to each other we stayed together for a year and like more two months after graduation we still stayed together like long distance and remember he already cheated we are already in a long distance relationship and the guy is selfish as hell so me i was still like trying to make things work like i don't blame him because i'm not an easy person today too cool i'm sure he was trying his better his best as well but then after graduation i was like taking a big step in my life and i was always like you know talking to him he was giving me all the support and blah 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 one and this big step was me traveling somewhere one week before my trip we weren't talking frequently as we were before but then i texted him i'm like you know i'm leaving on sunday the day of my trip i called the guy and i'm like i'm at the airport i'm about to leave and he was like where are you going i was like did you just ask me that he was like yeah where are you going you didn't tell me you're traveling i was the peak i was like you know i know this is not going to work blah 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 at that very moment i just broke up with him and like the feelings were like still there like i was still hurt due to what had happened before and yeah i won't lie like that situation helped me understand who my real friends were and not to trust people 100 percent like literally i was so hurt it is my problem wasn't the fact that he cheated but because he lied to me i told him you could have told me we could have solved this a long time ago but you lied and you make me the fool of the whole story guys i never felt that bad in my whole life like literally like i was just like why why would you like i can stand everything apart from lies guys like i can stand lies like i was just like why would you lie to me like why it's good that i grew like i grew in the relationship i grew during the situation and i really hope those people also learn something because what they did to someone they claim to love or to be friends with was like really bad but it is what it is time i got cheated on i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked this video don't forget to give a thumbs up comment just follow me on social media if you have any questions if you have any requests just send me a dm on instagram or twitter i'll leave everything in the description down below see you on my next video